Hi, I get a lot of uh, questions asking how I did this in Topaz uh, Impressions. Okay, so this is a really quick tutorial because it doesn't take that much. So I'm going to do a quick, this is how I did it, and then I'm going to do it. Okay, first of all, the photograph is by a photographer called Appellant, and I've asked him if I could use his uh, photos, and he said yes. So um, this is his website if you want to go and check out some of his work. Now, I started with his photograph, and then I chose Topaz Impression Cezanne, and I put a mask here, and I, uh, like 50%, went over it with the brush to bring the face detail back, which I will show you. And then I used the blur. Um, which I will show you, the filter, blur gallery, and uh, iris blur on this one here. So what happens is these brush strokes here got smoothed out. Okay? And then I used the mask again to bring back the face to make the face stand out. And then I used the Adobe Paper Texture from Russell Brown, which you can find by looking up the Russell Brown show and scripts, and there it'll be, and you can download it, it's free, and you can put it in Photoshop. Or you can go to flypapertextures.com from Paul Grand and you can purchase some of his flypaper texture, which I, I use them all the time. But for this particular one, it came with Russell Brown's uh, paper, Adobe's paper texture. So that's it. That's that's all. That's what I did. So what I'm going to do is to do it again live. So we're going to go here where I have the picture. And we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to use the Topaz Impression. Cezanne, this one here, Cezanne 2, let it do its thing, which was quite quick, amazingly, since I'm using Photoshop and a recorder and Topaz all at the same time, that was pretty damn fast, okay, so let that come on in. And we're going to mask. And I have the mask brush at 25%. So we're going to take out a lot of this here. I try really hard to make my art look more traditional and older when I'm doing it digitally. Um, of course I paint traditionally also. So to me that's cool. It shows a little bit of brush detail and some brush detail in the back but I'm going to hold down the Alt and then go up here with this little arrow down and click Merge Visitable. 
and keep holding down the alt until the merge visible um, picture shows up here like right there now go to we can close this one go to blur gallery or if you got don't have CC it's under blur an Irish blur if you don't have the photoshops and have the blur in it just use the Gaussian blur and then mask out the center so we're going to do that make sure her face is sharp and everything else is blurry hit OK that should blur the brush strokes some if it's too much lower the opacity so you get some of those strokes back and then last but not least I use the linen on the Adobe Paper Texture. Now these uh, used to have the names on them, but not anymore. So if you have this one, the linen is the third up on the right. One, two, three. That's it. Just use that. Now we're going to bring some of this back I like the paper texture here but I don't like it so much on the face girl reminds me a little bit of a young Jodie Foster in this picture here like that and then of course you know sign your name but there it is I hope you enjoy it bye